Hi everyone, it's Mary from Marku Woolcraft again and today I'm going to show you how to prepare um, wool for um, carding, for drum carding. Now this is a lovely fleece of Shetland wool and it's a lovely colour as you can see and um, the individual locks are like that so they're, Gigi's helping, the cocker spaniel. Um, so nice two-toned locks but of course when they're all carded together we lose that difference in the color sadly sadly lose it this was a lovely fleece maybe shorn a little bit late because there's a little bit of um fresh growth coming up at the butt of the wool which is kind of causing it to be a little bit felted so before it goes through the carder this all has to be teased apart or otherwise you break the carder's teeth or it just grinds to a halt because it's not strong enough um, to actually pull the fibres apart. So we just gently card it apart like that so make it nice and fluffy. This is very therapeutic and very relaxing. I just love doing it. And I have a bag here that I pop it into. That's going down there. That's the bag already done there. And the great thing about doing it by hand is that you can take out all the dirty little bits or bits like that, you don't want that in it, or um, bits of hay, seeds, and any other bits and pieces. Now you can get a wonderful machine to do this. Well, a machine, it's you do it by hand. This is what we don't want. Thorn, nasty. That's my hate, are thorns. And they can get right the way through the whole process and be there when you're knitting. So you can get a machine to do this, which is like a sort of boat swing with the most vicious nails out hanging up, sticking out of it. And that does it, but which it would be much faster. But of course, you haven't got the... Um, ability then to take all these little bits that you don't want from the fleece out as you're doing, working through it. It's a slow job, but as I say, very relaxing. And the end product then is wool ready to go through your drum carver. This is a neighboring farmer who used to have lots of Shetland sheep, but now he's got rid of them all sadly, and they're all lo mostly lovely fleeces. And he keeps his sheep just out of interest. He keeps his sheep in the summer on Coney Island in County Sligo, which is just out in Sligo Bay. So his sheep are kept out there. You can drive out to Coney Island in low tide across the sand. So here we are. As you can see all these lovely colours there are in this fleece. I'll just show you this, but some of it won't be you able can't use that that's rubbish 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 but um here's another lovely bit of color different color here and this little these here you can see them here quite clearly that's lanolin it's not dandruff and when i work that with my fingers and warm it up it'll just disappear into the wool now some people would wash that out completely i just don't see the point because then you've got to add more oil back into your fleece to make it easier to spin and to process. And it seems daft to wash all the oil out and then add oil back in again. So I don't wash my wool very hot um, to prevent that happening, especially a lovely, lovely fleece like this. It's just, it's just lovely. It's so fine and soft little bit maybe short staple perhaps and um, see how it cards up when it comes to it is this but it just beautiful colors and the tips here i'll just put another bit off the tip there you see the difference in the color from the bottom to the tip that's because the sun has bleached it natural bleaching process on the sheep then there's a very obvious piece there with this bleach tip and the brown butt on the fleece this is you see the way it's really strongly held together there 
we can call that cotted a little bit. So, and these are the short bits that are coming up underneath there. That's the new growth. And as I say, um, it's been shorn a little bit late. Okay, so well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit about my process, one of my processes of getting my wool from the fleece to the yarn.